Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man, d -Bill. Coming at you with another B-Bill with d -Bill, where edutainment is what I do. Man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real, real good because, you know, this weekend, it's about to go down. Y'all already know what it is. My Kansas City Chiefs going up against them Philadelphia Eagles. Hopefully. I didn't mean that in no disrespectful way. I didn't mean that in no disrespectful way. I ain't that type of cat. I don't. I don't, I don't get down like that. I'm like, are we gonna stomp? I don't. I don't do that. I might do it after we do it, <laughs> but I don't. I don't do it. You know, you know, because you don't know what's going on nowadays, especially you know, being a Kansas City Chiefs fan too, bruh. Ninety percent of our games was like, boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo, what are they going in? Are they going in? Are they going to win? You know what I'm saying? So you can imagine what my blood pressure is like being a Chiefs fan. I might as well just keep on keeping on. You know, I mean, but that's I guess that's what athletic contests are all about. You know what I mean? It's you know you want to know whoever you went up against gave you a good one. So for the most part, is what it is. Um, but that is not what I am here to talk to you about today. Um, I am concerned about the acceptance of black replacement. You know what I mean by that? By black replacement. Okay. A lot of roles that um, are starting to come out or are already out seem to be what I call charity roles. It's, it's a charity role because it's, it, it, it has nothing to do with us, you know, being accepted as equals so much as it does, here's your bone, hope you enjoy it. And I talked about it a little bit on the live last night, but I'm going to go into some deep detail um, here. But before I do, I need y'all to do what y'all always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D-Real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you dig him, what a brother shoveling, shoveling. Put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D-Real page. This page. Right, champ. Okay. Um, the danger with the acceptance of black replacement. Okay. Now, for terms of simplification in this conversation, as well as in the comments, when I say black replacement, I am talking about the incorporation of a character who is not originally Black or of Black origin made into a Black character for no other purpose but to appease, not to add to or, or, or make a character permanently or 100% Black but simply to appease folks like, uh, or try to appease folks like us who are, you know, and you're out here saying, you know, that there's representation, there's representation. Now here's the fear of representation. And here's the example I used in my live last night, if you didn't catch it. Um, back in the nineties, there was a Cinderella. Cinderella was played by none other than one Brandy Norwood. Oh my goodness. Now, and, and Whitney Houston as the fairy godmother. Rest in power, queen. Now, have we had Cinderella movies since that Cinderella? Quite a few, haven't we? And every single time after Brandy's portrayal, it was a white woman. Why didn't Cinderella stay black? 
you know? Everybody's all thrilled. The piece is like, yay, yay, the little mermaid gonna be black now. For a little while. Because when you go to Disney World, they ain't replaced that, they ain't replaced that, that, that white lady playing Ariel out at Disney World, have they? You see what I'm saying? So this is two prime examples of 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 black replacement. Okay. I don't like black replacement for two reasons. One is disingenuous. And two, it is never long lasting. You know, we in one example that I gave you, you've already seen it. And you're getting ready to see it with the second example with Ariel. You know, when they make Ariel permanently black at Disney World, when they take all of the pictures and posters and things down of white Ariel and replace them with black Ariel, when they take the, the version of the Little Mermaid and all the other little sequels and the TV show after that and take all of that and, and put it in that Disney vault, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> then I'll start to believe that Ariel is black. Until then, it's a bone. They're throwing us a bone, people. You got to be more, you know, cognizant. And it ain't about no woke thing. It's just seeing what you see and, and living a little while. You know, over time, you see, yeah, they did do that janky stuff, didn't they? Show did, you know, and and that's all I'm saying. So now I'm gonna give you these four primary examples um, of what you can expect with your hand me downs, your gimmies, your okay. One's already came, or two have already came. The first one is who I like to call Falcon America. Or Captain America, to those of you who have that pride, like, yay, go Sam, go. Okay. Um, Captain America 2. <laughs> Captain America Jr. Is, 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 is who Sam Wilson is. From a comic standpoint, there are two separate comic books. Okay? Just like there was a Miles Morales. And there, you know, you got Miles Morales, Ray. You still got Amazing Spider-Man. Okay. Okay. But anyway, with the Falcon becoming Captain America, and now he's going to have his own movie. Is Sam going to get a three-movie story arc? Or are y'all going to be one and done with Sam? Okay. Did, any, did, did that cross anybody's mind? Or is anybody... Now, here I am. Here I am saying it. February 10th, 2023. Will the Falcon, Falcon America, will he get a three-movie story arc? Or will they do him like they did to Chow? Watch for it. Keep your eyes open. Now, I'm making, the reason I did that, I'm making this real easy to locate when I go back and uh, pull this clip out next year um, after there ain't no announcement of Captain America 2 or, or something like that, you know. Maybe the video aged badly. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, then we've got my man, Jonathan, who I must say, that Kane outfit is banging, son. I ain't even going to front. But see, here's the thing. Why did we need to make Kane black? Where's the significance in it? Where's the importance in it? And from what I hear at this red carpet event, quantum mania is kind of meh. You know what I mean? So, what's it going to do? It, 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 will, it, it, it will facilitate. They've already built their entire story arc 
around this character. So he's going to get mad airplay. Might as well just get ready for that. That's not the concern. But it's just over the years. Over the years. What, how is that going to affect 616 Kane? Are they going to change 616 Kane to be black? To match the cinematic version of Kane? Or is Kane going to stay Kane, going to stay Kane, going to stay Kane? Sorry, gang. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? That's, Jonathan Majors ain't going to be Kane forever. He's going to get stuck in that time loop. That's a joke. That's not me predicting or giving any plot leads. It, it, a pun, if you will. Um, if it's not going to be lasting is the thing, you know, don't throw us these bones. If you're going to give us a character, give us a character that's going to last like Heimdall. Wait. Yeah, Heimdall did. Or maybe a character like Lamar Hoskins, the uh, battle star that we can grow and develop, like from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Hold on. Lamar Hoskins is dead too. Oh, well, then of course it's got to be T'Challa, you know, T'Challa, the premier black superhero. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, now, we're talking about having a Black Wonder Man and a Black Sentry. And this is why I don't agree with it. Because you're trying to appease all of these people who are going to watch this video and say, why can't you just be Happy. Why can't you stop settling? You know what I'm saying? If you're going to get demand that they give you a black character. I don't see how hard that is to do. My man Luke Cage, y'all got him just sitting on the shelf. What's up with some Luke Cage, bro? You know what I'm saying? Um, how about we make Moses Magnum a villain? In MCU. Oh my goodness, Moses Magnum was born in Africa, which would make him a black man anyway. There's black characters out there, is my beef, y'all. And I y'all done heard me say it many times before. Why are you turning white characters black when you ain't did jack with black characters that are black? Everybody crying and moaning and pissing about a black Superman. You got a black Superman already. You got two black Superman. You got three black Supermans. Why are we stressing over how that's supposed to happen? You know? And that one is from the mainstream DC universe. So you ain't even got to cook up no half-baked story. You got him right the hell there. But what I'm saying doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. Okay, Thunderbolts. You were making the villain the century. A black century at that. Same story. Same explanation that I've been giving all video. Are we going to make Robert Reynolds black in the 616? Or is there going to be a black, a black century, you know, that y'all going to introduce? Is he going to have dreads? You know, this is all I'm urging y'all to do is be a little more discerning when these announcements are made instead of getting excited and going, Whoa, 
You know, I feel like the only exception to 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 black replacement would be John Stewart. And the only reason I say that, sorry, Chillmonger, is he stood not only not only has he stood the test of time as a replacement for Hal Jordan, he superseded. Now, when you talk about Green Lantern, Hal Jordan ain't always the default. Although too many traditionalists, he is. And he don't have the same kind of foibles or insecurities or or arrogances that Hal Jordan has. He's a whole different person. And so we get a whole different personality and we get a whole different interaction. That's what makes Jon Stewart the exception to this Black replacement rule. And, and when we talk about Jon Stewart, we don't just go... Green Lantern, maybe we should. But when you say Green Lantern, depending on who you ask, that's John Stewart. I'm not saying don't have Hal Jordan. I'm not even saying don't have Kyle Rayner or any of the other many bajillion Green Lanterns who hail from Earth. But the catch all is they cops. It ain't got nothing to do with color. And that's why you got alien lanterns. The Green Lantern Corps is, is the ultimate in diversity. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, project, that process for picking the individual is for the most part arbitrary, except the fact that you're looking for willpower. Now, if we could do something, excuse me, if we could do something like that with Sam Wilson and Sam Wilson becomes a character who does not regard himself as a Captain America, that might work. Similar to the way James Rhodes has become War Machine. War Machine at first was just like, mm, ah, that's 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 Tony Stark's old armor. But John Rhodes made War Machine what it is. And we we put him aside. We keep in the back of our head, he's an also ran Iron Man, but he's he's carved out his own niche in comic book history. You know what I mean? I, I can tell you the story of John Rhodes. You know what I'm saying? It's at highs and lows. You know what I'm saying? He's got a story to tell. How many War Machine monthly titles have there been? It ain't all good. You know? Or 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 with Wonder Man, nah, there just ain't no way that can work. You know? <laughs> There's no way that can work. I mean, it, without it looking disingenuous, and and without it not being something that has a legacy attached to it, because that's where I am now. We need legacy. I want that Flash legacy. You know what I mean? I want that Green Lantern legacy. That Ant Man legacy that seems to be occurring anyway. You know. Well, we can look down the line, you know, like the Phantom. You know what I mean? There was a long line of Phantoms, you know. So, so that that kind of a thing is a long line of Batman. Is a you know, what black hero we got like that? That you know, other than the Black Panther, they don't want us to have no legacy. Is what it seems like sometimes. We don't want you to submit yourself. We don't want you to become a fact and a fixture. Kind of much in the way DeSantis is kind of trying to revise history. It is what it is. And if that pisses people off, it's because the sting of truth is in it. At least that's how I look at it. But long story short, accepting this 
only you're only setting yourself up for disappointment if you accept it. You know, we're gonna rock with this, we're gonna rock with this. Hey, what happened to this? It's what they did to us with Black Panther. How are you gonna get my hopes up for for a plethora of Black Panther movies and then just Maybe more people need to see how that feels so that they see it's not just an isolated incident, but a pattern. And then just stop fucking with their movies all together and say, I'm going to go over here. You know, DC might be whack as hell, but this whack over here ain't fucked up my favorite character and, and storylines galore and, you know, just picking and choosing and, well, actually, they both are, aren't they? Okay, well, <laughs> uh, uh, will somebody come up with, ooh, we gotta do it on our own. Okay, well, gotta start at the bottom, ground floor, gotta get the comic books out first. So, um, yeah, that's the fear of accepting black replacement that you will eventually become extinct in that parthenon of superheroes that are up in the sky as stars and you know this kind of a thing oh oh there's captain america um there's superman um there's thor uh there's spawn um, there's Sam Wilson, Captain America. You see what I'm saying? It, it, are we going to be doing that in like five, ten years? Is he still going to be around? Is he still going to be a star like that? You know? Because quiet as it's kept. Um, what makes something legendary is the fact that people constantly, constantly, constantly continue to talk about it and when we stop talking about it we stop paying attention to it and when we stop paying attention to it it goes away so accept no substitutes if you're trying to give me a black hero give me a black hero that's it for now I'll be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good and go choose.